episode. Bonus, bonus episode. episode. This is just a little bonus story we put together for you. We hope you enjoy it. The Little Ninja. One dark night, the wise owl was awoken from his slumber. His head came out from under his wing. For a moment, he looked startled, if owls can be startled. Then he scanned the ground below his tall tree to find the source of what had stirred him. There, he heard it again. The wail of a small child, lost, crying. The owl swooped off his branch, landing next to the basket. The baby gasped in surprise and looked up briefly before being wrapped up in the owl's wings and carried off. Time passed. The leaves changed from green to red and back again many times. The child would grow up living in the branches of the tree, studying the ways of the wise owl. Through her years growing up with the owl, she had studied and trained for this moment. It had given her focus and replaced that which she had never known, her family. She was strong and agile, quick and brave, could survive in the woods on her own. She was tough and had been through a lot. You try living with an owl. Still, she felt incomplete. She was Aoki, the little ninja. Or at least she hoped to be. There she stood now, all dressed in black, ready for the challenge that would await her. Yet she had not passed the last test. That day, the wise owl explained that in order to pass the last test, she would need to go through the forest, up the tall mountain, and defeat the evil monkey who lived at the top of that mountain. It would not be easy, but if she remembered his teachings, she would succeed. Aoki left the temple and began her journey. It was morning, and the dew was still in the air. The sun shone down, the dewdrops sparkling. As Aoki passed through the forest, her mind began to wander. She thought of rainbows and watched the birds fly out of a nearby bush. Suddenly, she was aware of a loud roaring sound coming from not far away. She crouched behind a rock, but her mind was already racing, her heart beating faster and faster. Was it a giant lion, or a three-headed snake, or the fearsome werewolf? Her heart raced, picturing these fearsome beasts, their great mouths growing bigger and bigger in her mind, full of razor-sharp fangs which could tear her apart. Then she heard the sensei's voice, clearly, as if he were next to her. Breathe deep. Feel your body. Be mindful of where you and what you are feeling. She breathed deeply, feeling her heart slow down. She could feel each beat and the deep breaths she was taking, feeling the cool air fill her lungs. She could hear the birds, and then when she truly heard the roar again, she could hear the sound within the sound, and not the stories her mind had been telling her. The tinkling of water cascaded on the rocks. She opened her eyes, stepped forward, took another step, and passed through the bushes. And there it was, the most beautiful waterfall. After Aoki had stopped at the waterfall, she felt rested and her mind clear. She moved on. Soon she came to a town, and as she moved through the town, she came across some boys. The boys laughed at her in her outfit, calling out and making fun. Their laughter felt like it cut right through her, making her wish the ground could swallow her up. Quickly, her head was filled with the sound of rushing blood as her vision saw red. She felt she was about to explode or cry. Somewhere inside of her, she felt that she had been silly to think she could be a ninja, and she doubted herself. But before she exploded or ran away, she heard the gentle voice, Breathe. Feel your body. Be mindful of where you and what you are feeling. She breathed deeply, slowly feeling the rushing sound move out of her head. She felt her chest open, her body relax. Her arms dropped to her side. She looked again at the boys and saw that they were scared. And the fear of her and the fact she was different to them was making them behave like that. There was nothing wrong with her. She breathed deeply, felt her inner strength grow, 
and walked on. She came to the base of the mountain. The mountain towered over her. It loomed in her mind, filling her with fear. She saw the spikes and traps, the giant walls that grew to be twenty meters high in her mind. The spikes and traps filled with fearsome animals or poisonous spikes. She fell down, unable to move, her body unable to respond to her mind, frozen. Then she heard the voice, a whisper this time, but different from inside of her. Breathe. Feel your body. Be mindful of where you and what you are feeling. She felt her body steady as she settled her breathing. Her arms and legs grew strong. She stood and faced the mountain. Aoki ran and leapt. She flew like a falcon. She ran like the wolf. She climbed like the monkey, over walls and leaping traps, swinging from trees until she stood at the top of the mountain. There at the top was a giant tree, its branches stretching wide and providing shade for the whole mountain. Aoki knew the monkey was up here. She would need to defeat it before she could claim to be a master. Before the thoughts of how big or evil the monkey could be entered her mind, she banished them. Her breathing strong and her mind clear, she circled the tree, first to the left and then to the right. But the monkey was not there. Then she heard a voice from high up in the tree. Welcome, my child. She looked up, only to find the wise owl, her sensei. You have done well, my child. But, but where is the monkey? I have not completed the challenge. The owl's head shifted to one side. He stared down with one eye on the little ninja and said, The monkey has already been beaten. The monkey was inside you, and over the course of your journey, you have shown you are its master. This episode was voiced by Christine Delance. Thanks for listening, and we hope you enjoyed the show. If you liked it, please don't hesitate to rate us on your podcast app. 